introducing you to a Marine veteran and former FBI official who's still giving back to his community by driving a bright yellow school bus and donating his salary to charity. Mike Mason spent 22 years working for the FBI before retiring, and when he heard about a severe school bus driver shortage in Virginia because of COVID-19, he applied for the job. He's also a Marine veteran, so we salute you, sir. Uh, thank you for being with us from Chesterfield, Virginia, this morning. Well, thank you for having me on. What made you give up retirement to be a school bus driver, really? I mean, obviously, there was a lot that changed because of COVID-19, but what was the impetus in your heart? Well, I saw a news story that was talking about the need for additional bus drivers. And I also realized that everybody thinks that, that all the children out there have the technology they need to easily transition to a virtual learning environment. And I just realized that that wasn't true. And I thought that it was critically important to get students, particularly those, if I may say so, who look like me, back in front of live teachers. And I thought this was an important role and an important way I could help in this post-pandemic recovery. Yeah, your story has gone viral. How, how has that felt? Uh, that was odd because I did a little recruiting video for the Chesterfield County Public Schools and never dreamed that this thing would go viral in the way that it has. But it has produced some good opportunities for me, so I, I really can't complain, but I really was shocked at how viral it actually went. Now, uh, I've, obviously, I've mentioned you're a veteran Marine, you're a former FBI official. Uh, any life or survival skills that have helped you in driving a bus full of students? Well, the students, the students are easy. They, they really, I love them and I drive a special ed bus. Oh. And so all of my students are on the autistic spectrum somewhere. And so I love learning to learn about them, to learn their language, what makes them happy, sad, angry. And so the students are actually the best part of the job. Have you ever worked with children before? You seem to be made for it. I, I, I have worked with children. I was a big brother. I've worked in another, another organization that dealt with children. Uh, so I have dealt with children before, but not in the way I'm doing today. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. You donate most of your salary. Where does it go? Well, to one Chicago organization, Target Hope, but it also went to St. Jude's, it also went to Shriners, and then my alma mater, Illinois Wesleyan University down in Bloomington, Illinois. Wow, I think my grandmother went to Wesleyan University. That's a, <laughs> it's a small world after all. Wow. It is a small world. One more question for you, Mike. For anybody out there watching who wants to make a difference in their community, perhaps they are retired and looking for a new chapter in their life, what would you tell them? Well, I tell them to explore the opportunities because there are many, and I won't let my life be dictated to me by my chronological age. As long as I'm healthy and capable, I want to give something back. And I think if everybody did that, wow, what a better world this place would be. Yeah, let's take the limits off. Mike Mason, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.